Ryan Coogler, my man. Dude, I love Creed 1 and 2. Like, I can't wait for the third one. But, but I'm, I'm hearing, at least through the grapevine, I'm hearing that you're going to be directing and writing the Michael Jackson biopic, Rock My World. Come on, Lee. Well, you know, it's a rush hour reference, but you are nailing it in Hollywood. How'd I get your number? Well, you know, IMDb Pro. You know, you pay 140 dollars a year and you can pretty much just contact anybody so i'm gonna call michael b jordan next <laughs> just kidding just trying to see if i could uh you know get a role i i don't do background anymore no more background i'm, I'm done with that nah, nah i don't want no day player role okay i'll, I'll be honest i was i was kind of hoping I'd, I'd you know you'd slide me an audition for playing mj himself <laughs> what's the problem no, no, I mean, the guy, you know, the bung, black hair, really tiny nose, great dancer. I mean, I've, you know, I, I've taken some ballroom dancing classes. This is, this will be perfect. I'll, I'll fit the role perfectly. I, I know how to tip tap, tap, tappy tippy, tip tap, taparoo. You know, I've been to plenty of high school dances when I was in high school. You know, I can, I can, uh, I can waltz. I can do the jibber jabber, uh, the fox rock. The, that, that great Italian dance, uh, the mango. I, pff, Miley Cyrus can twerk. You should see me twerk. Plus, I'm from Jersey. I do that Jersey Turnpike like nobody's business. <laughs> Shakira, Shakira. My hips don't lie either, because you know I like to tell the truth. So I'm being honest with you, Ryan. Well, well, well thank you. Yeah, yeah. You know, I take pride in being a being a well-rounded dancer. I am Russian. Well, what's the problem? MJ was no kid singer like what are you talking about jackson Fu okay that, you must be thinking of somebody somebody else michael jackson was not a kid singer he did the free willy movie soundtrack he did black or white he did you rock my world you know we are the world he, he was clearly a long-haired yeah go ahead send me a picture oh wow uh that was him oh that's what happened Oh, okay. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm I'm embarrassed. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll I'll take that extra roll whenever uh, whenever you start filming. <laughs> Seventy-five dollars over eight hours. Sounds great. I uh, I'll be there. <laughs> Bye, Ryan. Hi, my name is Gabriel Manic. I'm an actor, and I'm <laughs> thirsty. Grand entrance. Perfect. Oh man, it feels good to just like hop down some stairs. Jared, how you doing, man? Feeling good. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful day in Atlanta. Kind of beautiful, you know, over overcast, kind of chilly. It's not too bad. Thanks All right. For the gate and <laughs> I'm just gonna. What is it? It's like one upping somebody. It's like. <laughs> oh, you went to you went to college? Well, uh, I got a master's. Okay, so we've got two beers. Going to be doing a bonus review after, after the first one. So we're here at Atlanta Brewing Company, which formerly known as Red Brick Company. Red Brick, just Red Brick. If you see me looking over over there, it's because uh, I'm looking at somebody who works here, who I used to work for years ago. So yeah, we're over here. They, they have been here since 1993. Georgia's first original craft brewery. You know, these truckers, uh, they come here right on time, you know, trying to cover up the, the sounds when I'm trying to speak. But yeah, yeah, uh, Merry Christmas to you too. <laughs> yeah, please, honk, honk. The jerk, he didn't do it, he didn't do it. So I decided to get their Hop Lanta, but apparently it's oak aged. I've had their regular in the can and on draft. The Hop Lanta is a West Coast, where's my phone with all the info? It's a West Coast IPA, West Coast style IPA. And I believe the hops, it's got like a few of my favorite hops in there. Like Citra, Mosaic, I believe. Let's see. So it's got Chinook. I was wrong. It's got Chinook and Centennial hops, which is kind of cool because, you know, Centennial Park here in Atlanta. I'm sure it, I'm sure it has to do with that. <laughs> so this is the oak aged version, which has basically just it's oak aged. It's aged in oak barrels. Yes. 
she's laughing over here because you know this is her first experience of, uh, of watching me do this so sometimes it's awkward so yeah oak aged why not an oak aged ipa i've never had one like that so the first hoplana i mean original i think is great Let's get... and apparently i heard through the grape grapevine there's a little bird that a lot of trees over here I just, birds are very insightful here it's a tap room exclusive so get your butt in here don't don't be scared of what's flying in the air you'll be all right just have some alcohol it's gonna you know get rid of it you'll be fine you'll be fine so come in here and get a pint and I'm gonna let you know how this is so first sips the one that counts when you're thirsty cheers Elena Hmm, 6.8% by the way. What's that on the end? You definitely get a bit, like the oak aged part of it, it's not too prominent. So, like my experience like with bourbon barrel aged, <clears throat> that's pretty prominent and the beer ends up being like higher in ABV, but this is pretty chill. So it's not overbearing. There's a little bitterness on the end, obviously an IPA. Um, it's pretty smooth. Am I getting a little uh, citrus in it? Yeah, I don't know. Really not bad. And the way the bubbles are moving, it's almost kind of like it's in slow motion. It's weird, I've never seen carbonation move like that. So maybe, maybe this is going through like a time warp. Maybe it's a time warp IBA, uh, IPA. Oak aged, it's aged, which means it's, you know, it's aging, it's in a different, yeah. You know, that's what happens when, <clears throat> when alcohol gets into my system. I start speaking as though I'm in a different dimension. Are you guys here right now? <laughs> you gotta show your personality, because that's, that's what it is. You guys aren't watching because you wanna know how this tastes. You're here for this. For this silliness and but you know we're here promoting a, a, a brewery so I should get back to that this is pretty solid so when I said 6.8 that's not the score it's just the ABV I think it kicks ass okay so for the oak aged Hoplana which I think is hilarious I mean Hoplana Hoplanta you guys know I, I you guys and and uh, girls <clears throat> and dogs know that I like puns, so it's it's perfect. So let's see. Today on a Wednesday, don't know when this is gonna post. I'm gonna give it, I'll give it a seven nine. Seven nine sounds good. Seven nine, it's pretty good. Tap room exclusive. This is pretty damn good. You should come here, have the original, and then compare it with, uh, with this one as well. I, that would be a lot of fun. I can't wait to finish this. Okay, that was really good. So now this, this is about two months late on my end. My bad, my bad. Was hoping to be here in December around <clears throat> the Christmas time. Some people call it Xmas. Some people call it the 25th, whatever. <laughs> this is the peppermint, peppermint patty. Peppermint patty. This bird, this bird is so loud. It's giving me everything I need to know. I'm so grateful to this bird. <laughs> People, people are gonna get in the comments and be like, this guy has m mental health issues. There is one person who actually, <laughs> who put that like in the comment and it got flagged. It's like, oh, this guy has mental health issues. <laughs> so they just don't get my sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. So the peppermint mint, the peppermint patty. Now I made it sound like it's pepper and mint. It's not pepper, it's, there's no spiciness. It's peppermint, okay? Bear with me, I, I'm, um, I had lunch an hour ago, so this is getting to me quickly. It's an imperial stout aged in ASW, which is a distillery here locally, um, from AS, with, in ASW bourbon barrels with cocoa, cacao, nibs, and peppermint. Even though it says cacao, don't worry, vegans can have it, there's no meat in it. Um, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, it sounds great. <laughs> this is such a chill review here, okay. It's, okay, this smells like, like a peppermint patty. This is, this smells great. Mmm, a nice dessert beer. And it's 10.5%. It's insane. If you want to have it all day, you know, it's, it's your family's funeral. Uh, I don't know, you're gonna have to figure that one out because I'm not coming. Um, should I do, start doing stand-up? Inserts crickets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
thank you, audience, for showing up. It's uh, okay. So. Oh. I ju it's just talking, just talking to the people. Just... Awesome. I should do it, and and I, have, I need to have uh, the oak aged. Hoplana. So let's get to reviewing this one. Second sip's the one that counts when uh, you're flabbergasted. Oh, I'm getting a little like, I don't know, sea salt on the front. There's a little, little saltiness on the, on the beginning, in the beginning. Oh man, that, that cacao, <laughs> cacao. I just like saying that now. I feel like I'm Will Ferrell, cacao. I feel like it might be also like a gang, a gang saying like, you know, like cacao, cacao. Hoo -hoo. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Got a frog in my throat. Um, this is pretty great. This will get you into trouble. Not overly sweet, which is what I was first afraid of. I was like, I wonder if it's going to be too sweet. Not at all. I would say bittersweet. Man, I'm just digging this. I feel like I'm. I've, I got <clears throat> a chocolate bar. Melted, I just realized I'm just looking at you, Jared, not into the camera. Melted just into a glass and mixed in with some water. It's not bad. That's, I mean, what I just said sounds terrible. It's not what this is, <laughs> but it's kind of got that feel. Wow. Yeah. If I ever get married, who knows? We'll see. You know, not sure if that's in the in the cards. Also, I, if I have to buy the cards, I, I, you have to tell me where to go. Maybe Amazon has them. Um, <clears throat> but this is something I would have at a wedding, at my wedding, at somebody's wedding. I would like to have it. People, if you're gonna invite me to your wedding, please have this, okay? Just, you can probably get it shipped from here. I'm sure they use uh, Jeff Bezos mailing company. So, pretty sure that's the official name too. Ooh, now I'm getting like that, that cool mint f feeling. As I breathe in, this is this this kicks ass. This kicks ass. Hmm. Okay. Probably shouldn't take another sip. Chug it. Chug, 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 chug. Coming from the guy who told me to eat mac and cheese off the Decatur I mean, floor. That makes for uh, fun videos, right? <laughs> it does. It was pretty funny. Okay. Nazdorovia. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Ah, that's good. That's good. Okay, so the pepper mint patty. Um, yeah, I mean the cacao is great. Mint, cool mint. Mmm. Okay, so remember this is on a completely different scale. It's not just beer, like a beer scale. This is on the imperial stout scale. So I'll go with the nine one. I'll go with the nine one. That pr that kicked ass. I could have a sixteen ounce of that. More like peppermint baddie, am I right? Peppermint baddie. All right, let's sh let's show her. Let's show her. No. <laughs> <laughs> Christiane, she used to be my old boss. Well, not old boss. I mean, you know, she's younger than me, so she used to be my young boss. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Thank you very much, Atlanta Brewing Company, for having us here. Thank you for, uh, you know, being so festive with your beers and trying new things. Because I think when I first went to Red Brick, when I moved here, so like in 20, 2016. I think, yeah, 2016, I think Red Brick only had maybe like six or eight beers on tap. So now, now they got like 20, right? 22, something like that. So they're really doing stuff. They're great in the market. Again, first George's original craft brewery, kicks ass. Definitely come here, try out those beers. Get, get your butt over here. They're, and then you can go to other breweries after that. Just come here first and we'll see you on the next review.